Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can create virtual environment in Jupyter Notebook and how you can activate and use them. So I want to create a project that uses a specific version of TensorFlow and another project uses another version of TensorFlow. So to do that, we will create virtual environment and use it in Jupyter Notebook. So first, let's go where we want to create our project. So let's say I want to create my project inside documents folder, right? So here, uh, let's go to Explorer and let's create a project folder. So I'll go inside users, shall and inside documents, let me create a new folder. Call it my project, right? Inside here, I'll open command prompt. So I can just click on this and type CMD and hit enter. Or if you're on Linux or Mac, you can just do CD, that is change directory to come here. So the command will be CD and the full path of your project folder like this, right? And then hit enter and you will be here. But in Windows, you can just do what I did and type CMD here. And anyway, you'll need to see full path of your project here. Here, let's create a virtual environment. So the command is Python dash M V E N V and give a name to your virtual environment. Let's call it new underscore V E N V. Hit enter. And now your Python virtual environment is being created. As you can see here, this folder is already created and it is doing some additional things for now. So after this is complete, we need to activate this virtual environment so that we can install packages and we can use it in Jupyter Notebook. So to do that, just type this new underscore vnv and then type scripts s is capital. You can hit tab and it will auto complete. It's not auto completing. Do it again, type new and hit tab, and then slash. Okay, what is the folder name? It was scripts itself, right? So, okay. So, since I'm in Windows, you'll have to use this forward slash, not the other slash. And now type activate, hit enter, and you will see this new VNV or whatever you have named your virtual environment here in front. And now you can install anything you want. So let's say I want to install requests, right? Hit enter and you can install whatever you want in this virtual environment. So let's wait, wait till this is installed. While this is processing, check out our brand new awesome coding mods. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, we've got stickers for laptops or notebooks, cups, bags, and a lot more. Get it today from the link below. So now, after you've installed your required dependencies, one thing you need to install is called appy kernel so that you can use this virtual environment in Jupyter Notebook. To do that, type pip install ipy kernel, hit enter, and appy kernel will be installed. After appy kernel is installed, you need to enter this command so that you can use it in Jupyter Notebook. The command is python m ipy kernel install double dash user double dash name equals to and give this a name so that we can use it in Jupyter Notebook. So the name is let's say new EERNEL hit enter and now this is being configured and now we can go to Jupyter Notebook and use this kernel and this kernel will be using this virtual environment that we have just created. So we can go to my Jupyter Notebook here and inside this project as you can see this environment is here and we can create a new Jupyter Notebook All right and what was the name of our kernel forgot it was new underscore kernel right so this is not it so let's refresh this and click on new again and now as you can see our new underscore kernel is created now you can click on this and this will contain all the packages and all the uh, whatever you have installed inside our virtual environment here and now you can run your code using whatever packages you have installed in this virtual environment. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.